Hi, so today I want to talk to you about our thoracic spine. So this is our part of our spine from the end of the neck sort of down towards our lower back area. So all the vertebrae in the back here, that's your thoracic spine. And our spine is made up of different S-shaped curves. Okay, so in this part of the spine, we've got a curve that's sort of like a C-shape. Okay, now a lot of people don't have that curve, they're more flat backed, they might be more kyphotic, more rounded. So, ways we can help improve our spinal mobility in this area. We're going to start off first of all just with a little warm up. So, I want you just to lean from side to side. So, our spine moves in all directions. So, we're going to move that spine in all directions. So, flexing from side to side. And then a little bit of rotation round one way and then the other way. So just twisting. And then we're going to do some rounding that back and then opening up, extending back. So flexing forward and extending. So just again, just that upper spine. So all those exercises, do about 10 reps, and that's just nicely warming and mobilizing it. You can do that at any time in the day. Let's come down to the floor then. So another way we can mobilize that spine is our cat-cow stretch. So we're thinking here about rounding your back as you tuck your tailbone, rounding your spine. So imagine here those shoulder blades are separating, and tuck your head. And then we start from that tailbone as you lift it up, let your tummy drop as you make that dip in that back. And again, lifting your head. Keep your shoulders pulled back. So again, tuck your tail as you're rounding your spine. And then tilt that tailbone up. A little dip in our spine. So the movement comes here from tilting in the pelvis first. But I also want you to mobilise here in this upper back. So you can see the difference there. And you can walk your hands round to the side. So again, we're getting a little bit of side flexion. Just seeing how far you can go each way. Another nice one here to do is starting with your body at 45 degrees, roll down your thigh and your hips to the floor, and then just push yourself back up again. Have a little stretch back and then ready to go. So first of all, set it up, 45 degree line, knees, hips, shoulders, head. Roll down that spine, so rolling down your tummy, and then push back up again. So we come round through that cat shape, lengthen, roll down. So you're combining the two exercises there. Let me show you that again. So I'm rounding my back first, and then straightening my back, and then a little dip, rolling down. Now we can have a nice stretch here, back in child's pose. You can have your arms long. If you stretch those fingers as far forward as you can, you're getting a nice stretch in your shoulders and in your lats. You can also rest in this position, arms close or arms back behind. This is quite a nice one here. If you really let those shoulders drop, opens up again across that thoracic spine. You may prefer to rest your head on a little pillow or cushion for that one. And then coming down onto your tummy. So elbows bent, arms are nice and relaxed. And again, we're just lifting head and chest. So mobilizing here in this upper spine. Make sure you're not arching the head back though. So keep that head and neck in line. And 
then the final exercise I want to show you today is if you've got a foam roller, you can lie on a foam roller. Now, my foam roller is a short foam roller, so you could use a rolled up mat, or I nicely have here, a doorstop. When you're lying on it, so if I lie on my mat here, I want to make sure my head is comfortable, so I don't want my head dropping off the end there. You could use a cushion there to support it, or just wiggle yourself down a little bit further on your mat. So make sure that that head is supported. Now that's not that comfortable here, so I would probably prefer going the other way. Or oh, luckily, I've got a longer roll here. So I can make sure my tailbone is supported, each vertebra of my spine, and my head and neck supported, and that's much more comfortable. So again, if your mat's a little bit short, you may want to use a cushion to support your head instead. And we're just simply gonna lie here. So you can have your knees bent to help you balance and make sure that lower back's comfortable. You can have your arms, elbows bent. Now I'm quite tight in my pectoral muscles here in my chest and shoulder, so that's quite a big stretch for me. You might prefer it with your arms out wide there, it's a little bit more comfortable for me. So just find the position that's comfortable, but you're actually getting a nice chest opening stretch. And we're going to think about breathing. So breathing also has a lot to do with your thoracic spine mobility. If you're very stiff in your spine, it's compressing your breathing. You're not going to be able to breathe as well. So let's just relax here. I want you to breathe in and out through your nose. So take a breath in. And out. Now notice as I breathe, my chest is expanding, my tummy's rising, and as I breathe out, my tummy falls and my chest and ribs contract. Breathing in, breathing out. So really feel that breath coming all the way down. Take your time nice and slow. Think about that breath going into your back, into that roller. Under your armpits as those ribs expand. Breathing properly is good for our body, good for our head, our lungs, and our mental health, good for relaxation. So, just relaxing there, breathing, enjoying that stretch. So there we have it. Some exercises, some breathing, and I hope that helps. See you next time.